guys, today I'm bringing you a couple of DIYs. I think about three DIYs. And for this first DIY, you will need this clear bowl. Uh, this comes two in a pack, and I got this from the wedding section at Dollar Tree. Okay, so you will need one of these. This garden dish which I got from the uh, planters planting section in Dollar Tree. You will need one of these, okay? You will also need E6000, but Dollar Tree also has something called Fix-All Adhesive. This is what it looks like. And this guys work just as good as E6000 if you don't want to spend the uh, money on the E6000. This works just as good, okay? You will also need uh, black spray paint. I have the Rust-Oleum and Ultra Matte because I will be spraying the inside of this bowl, this color. And you will also need metallic, Rust-Oleum metallic because I will be spraying the outside of the bowl with this metallic okay and you will also need your handy dandy hot glue gun okay so that's all the material you will need for this project okay I will take the label out of here And I will also remove the label from the back of the dish as well. Excuse that noise, guys, but I do have my balcony door open, so you may hear a little bavoom, bavoom. Okay, I'll just hand that over there. I want you guys to see the project, okay? So what I will do is put the fix-all glue on the bottom in the center of this dish, if you can see, okay? Because the fix-all glue gives more of a permanent hole than the uh, uh, hot glue. But I will also use the hot glue just to get uh, a quick dry so we can spray paint this okay and you just take the and put it in the center and you will know that it's the center because each bowl has like a little dot on and you just I just uh, line up the dot scots and that will give you a immediate hole See you guys. See the hot glue just gives it an immediate hole because the E6000 takes a while to set. It may take like 48 to 72 hours for this to actually set to have a. a A strong bond okay so now I will take this outside and uh, spray paint it I will be right back okay hold on okay guys this is what the finished project product looks like 
this is it. I decided to put uh, some little gems that I purchased from the Dollar Tree on here because it just looks so plain and I wanted to give it some type of detail. So I put some little gems on it. See how defined it is. And you find these at high-end stores like Restoration Hardware, CB2, McGee & Co. But this only cost me, let me see, $250, let's say about $5 when it costs like $200 at, you know, those high-end stores. Okay, this is the finished product. Okay, I'll be back with the next pro project. Now for this product, guys, for this project, I'm sorry. <laughs> I purchased three, they call these wood animals. I purchased three wood animals. And I got these in the crafters section of Dollar Tree. Okay. And I'm going to make the chain links that you see in the high-end dollar, high-end uh, stores. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these are remove the tails, just remove the tail, which is the last link. Remove the tail. And remove the heads. I mean, I had a proper scissors for this project, but all right. Okay, see? Remove the head, remove the tail. Take your hot glue. And since this is wood, I'm just using the hot glue, okay? And just put it together like this and hold it for a second to the glue actually bonds. Just one ring. See that, guys? So one. Do the same thing to the next one. Cut the neck, the head. or vice versa, however you want to, to remove the pieces. This is our second ring. Hot glue. Can you see, guys? Just gives me a stomach. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that the wrong way. <laughs> You're supposed to interlock these. I'm sorry. I'm saying, what in the world is going on here? I'm missing a step. 
You know how that is, guys. Make sure you remove these glue strings, though, because they are very annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay. See? Do you see what I'm trying to accomplish? Okay. And for the third... I might need to have some better scissors than I had, though, unfortunately. going to put hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, and make sure you don't burn yourself guys because this hot glue is dangerous. Okay, and we are going to put that around here and stick these together and hold them until they bind together. Can you see that, guys? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Letting it go too soon. And hold it together. So they get a good bond and not fall apart. Like they're trying to do on me. See that, guys? And I will be back. I will take this outside and give it a spray with the metallic spray paint and let you see what it looks like, okay? And at the end, I will be um, showing you what all, how all three projects look. Decorate it. Okay. Just making sure I get all of the glue string off of here. I don't want none of that hanging around, but this is how it's supposed to look, guys. Let me see that. Okay, I will be back with the uh spray painted product. Hold on. Okay, guys. And here is the finished product. How wonderful is that, guys? And let's say this cost me one, two, three. Well, guess let me round everything up to about five dollars because since it's a dollar twenty-five now, so that's three of these. This four, and then even though I had the spray paint, you know already because I do plenty of DIY products. I mean projects. <laughs> uh, so how is that? Five hours for something that costs close to a hundred or over a hundred dollars. Nice decor guys. Okay, that's the finished product. About a dollar tree wood animals they call it but the, that particular animal is a snake and you just cut the heads and tails off glue them together however you want whatever glue you choose to use and spray paint them whatever color you want them to be okay now for project number three now project number three guys you need the tails of the snakes Okay, and I have three, four, five, six of them. Okay, and also you will need the little blocks or cubes. I don't know exactly what they're called, 
I don't know what I did with the paper, but you need this, okay? You need the Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte Paint. That's the, that's the spray paint I chose to use for this project, okay? Your Fix-All Adhesive, if you choose to use that, and your hot glue. So what you will do is take this and the object is to make this look like a jack. Okay. So we are going to put some hot glue on here. We are going to take the tail of the snake and put it just like this. We might have to fill it in with glue because there's some hot glue at the end, but we'll see. So that's one, See, it's simple, guys. Oops. I didn't hold that on. I'm sorry. Too busy trying to show you each step. Can you see that? Okay. And at the end, it will look like, you know, the jacks we used to play when we were kids. I see these all the time at the high end stores. I say, I, I want one of those, but I just don't want to spend the enormous amount of money they want for each of them. So I say I'll take them in small in a smaller quantity and make it myself. You see how how it's turning out guys? Right now it looks like a starfish. <laughs> but in a minute it will look like a high end jack. See how it's coming together, guys? But for a stronger hole, use your uh, E6000 or your fix-all adhesive. Okay. You hear that hog blowing? It's my cat running around now. I tell you, this hot glue string is so annoying. 
Make sure you clean that off before you spray paint or paint any projects you may be creating. Because it, it's not cute when, you know, your paint dries and you see all those lumps and bumps on your project. But this is it, guys. See that? together for a while and then I will take this outside and spray paint it black so this is it for the DIYs guy and I'm gonna show you what it looks like spray paint it and how I decorated them. Okay, so I'm gonna spray paint it and I'll be right back. Okay guys, now this is the finished product. What do you think about this? Now I will show you how I decorated the items, okay? There you go, guys. What do you think? I put a little flower there. So that's it for the DIYs. Comment down below and let me know what you think, guys. And if there's another any another DIY you would like for me to make, comment down below and let me know. Okay? Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.